before we actually look at the tumor markers, we need to get some understanding about tumor genetics and tumor immunology and then we will see about the tumor markers. In the first section of the presentation, let us look at about tumor genetics. There are several areas that we need to understand about tumor genetics before we really understand the tumor markers. So, for example, let us say this is an organ, let us say the bladder, urinary bladder and this is the epithelial lining of the urinary bladder and when some of the cells of the epithelial lining start becoming cancerous or the tumor cells, they are produced in large numbers and they occupy the area of the normal epithelium of the bladder. These tumor cells like any other cells, they contain the nucleus, the chromosomes inside, the DNA in the chromosomes, then of course the RNA through which the protein synthesis occurs and the mitochondria. So, there could be abnormalities in any one of the areas related to the tumor cell either in the chromosomes or in the DNA or the RNA or the proteins that are synthesized or the mitochondria. Let us look at those details in our next slide. Chromosome abnormalities. Tumors can result due to abnormalities in the chromosomes. There could be aberrant copy or number. There could be translocations of one part of the chromosome into another chromosome of the same cell or there could be part of the chromosomes may be deleted which are called deletions. The best example of tra translocation is of course the Philadelphia chromosome in chronic myeloid leukemia which we will see a little later and if some parts of the chromosomes are deleted genetic information get deleted with the result the new cell behaves in a different way and becomes a tumor cell. Telomere extension abnormalities, what is telomere? Telomere is the end region of the chromosome as you can see here, this is the whole chromosome and the fluorescent yellow colored tips are the telomeres are the end regions. Now, it is known that it is these telomeres which decide the longevity of a person. The longer the telomeres, the greater is the longevity of the person. There is, there is genetic engineering going on to increase the length of the telomeres so that the person's longevity can be increased and also the aging process can also be retarded or rather even reversed. This is a new research going on. But nonetheless, as far as tumors are concerned, there could be some abnormalities in the telomere extensions. With the result, the cells proliferate at a very faster rate and an unchecked manner that results in the uh, tumor. Likewise, there could be some abnormalities in the DNA. There could be single point mutations in the DNA sequence or there could be microsatellite alterations in the DNA or there may be promoter hypermethylations. There will be some DNA regions which are the promoters and if these promoter regions are hypermethylated, that results in excess formation of genetic material and that can result in tumor formation or sometimes the viral DNA can get incorporated into the genome or the DNA of the host cell. With the result, a new DNA sequence is formed which contains the host cell DNA as well as the viral DNA which when proliferates and multiplies can result in tumor. Just like the DNA abnormalities, there could be abnormalities in the RNA too. There could be point mutations in the ribonucleic acid or over or under expression of the RNA or there could be miscodings in the transcription of the RNA when it is being transcribed from the DNA to the RNA stage. These miscodings will result in new proteins or abnormal proteins because of the 
miscoding and that results in tumor formation. Sometimes irrespective of the RNA, there could be some mutations in the mitochondria related to the DNA. The mitochondrial DNA mutations can also result in tumor formation. Finally, after the chromosomal abnormalities, DNA abnormalities and the RNA abnormalities, there could be an abnormality in the final product of all this mechanism. After all the DNA and the RNA, the code for the proteins and the protein synthesis and the protein that is manufactured, if that is abnormal, that can result in the formation of tumors. Structural alterations in the proteins, changes in the enzyme activity of the protein, mislocalization of the protein and altered protein expression in different cells. So these are some of the abnormalities which can result in the tumor formation. So the genetic abnormalities are tumor genetics related to the chromosomes, related to the DNA, abnormalities of the RNA and protein abnormalities. All of these either individually or together can contribute to the formation of tumors. And this is in, in short some understanding about the tumor genetics. Then we would see the tumor immunology a bit before we go on to the tumor markers.